Hey everybody, welcome back to Chosune Hangul. My name is Chosu, and this series is for people who want to learn Korean language and some simple phrases and words that they can use throughout the week uh, to their Korean friends so that they can wow the people around them. So, if that is something that you are looking for, you're in the right place. If not, you can go ahead and change the channel. So today I'm going to switch it up a bit and we're actually going to go over the Korean alphabet. Yes, the Korean alphabet. Now, first, before we get deeper into the alphabet itself, I want to explain about the background of the alphabet. So nowadays it's called Hangul, but originally the alphabet was referred to as Hunmin Jeongum. Hunmin Jeongum. And it was actually innovated by the great King Sejong in the 1440s. And so after it was innovated, uh, it actually had more letters and more characters than it does today. But after some changes and some more innovations, the language that people use today uh, in Korean is called Hangul. Han meaning Korean and Ge meaning writing or script. Okay, so the Korean language and alphabet, it's actually quite simple. It is an alphabet which and what I mean by that is it is made up of different letters and you take those letters and you connect them to make syllables and you collect the and you put the syllables together to make words. So for example, in English, you have the letter B and you have the letter E. B makes a B sound and E makes the E sound. If you connect B and E together, you make the word B. Or if you take I, which makes the I sound, and F, which makes the F sound, if you connect I, F, you make if. So it's very similar in the Korean language. Now, in the ABCs, we have a total of 26 different characters. In the current Hangul Korean language, there are 24, and it consists of 14 consonants and 10 vowels. So I'm going to read through the characters with you. Try and follow along, okay? Starting with the consonants. We're going to start with Kiyok, Nian, Tigut, Ryo, Miyum, Biyup, Shio. Yung, Chiet, Chiet, Kiok, Tiget, Piop, Heel. Those are the consonants, the 14 that I had mentioned earlier, and now for the vowels. Ah, Ya, O, Yo, O, Yo, U. U, U, and E. So those are the 10 vowels that I was mentioning. So again, 14 consonants, 10 vowels. You take the consonants and the vowels and you push them together to make syllables and you, collect, you connect those syllables in order to make words in the Korean language. Simple, right? Actually, the language is so simple and so easy to learn that Korea's literacy rate is off the walls. Up to in 2008, I believe the literacy of South Korea was 98%. So now it is 2019, I'm sure it's above 95%. And that just speaks to the ease and simplicity of the Korean language. All right, so now I'm going to actually give you a taste of a song that goes over the Korean alphabet. Let's take a look. Canada song, 시작해요. 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷. Canada ra, 마바사, 아자차카, 타파하. 좀더 빨리 해볼까요? 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷. Canada ra. Mabasa Aja Chaka Tapaha. All right, so I'm going to. 
put some of these characters together for you and give you an opportunity and chance to really brush up on your Korean dialect. Because if you're able to understand the alphabet, then it gives you a better opportunity to be able to correct and have the right pronunciation in Korean. So, first consonant, kyo, which is the name, and it's pronounced g, as in go or gan. Everybody say g, g. Next one, nian, is the name, which is pronounced n, n, as in near or nice. And the third consonant is de. The name of it, tiget, pronounced de, de, as in do or don't, de. Simple, right? Now, the next one we're going to look at is a vowel, and it's pronounced ah, as in aunt or awesome, like uh, this show, right? So let's take these and put them together. G together with a ah, ga n together with a ah, na d a ah, da and we've made the phrase ka na da now here's something in English, when we are referring to the ABCs, the letters from A to Z, we refer to them as the ABCs. In Korean, you can think of Kanada as a way of saying the Korean ABCs or the Korean alphabet. And you'll even see that the name of the song that I just showed you was the Kanada song, Kanada song, which means the ABC song, but for the Korean language and alphabet. So. Let's take one more look and review. G, A makes what? Ga. N, A makes na. D, A makes da. Ka, na, da. So how was it? If you think the Korean language so far is pretty simple to learn, leave a comment if you're on our YouTube page. Is it difficult? Is it hard? What makes it difficult? What makes it easy? All right, this is Chosu from Chosu Ne Hangul. And again, I challenge you just like I do every week to practice. Practice these at least two times a day. If you have a Korean friend, ask them to go over these three consonants and one vowel with you. And little by little, you'll be able to build up your Korean bank and really become a very good Korean speaker. So until next time, don't mind now.